Coach, you had switched up the starting lineup. You put Greg in for Rousey. What was their thinking behind making that move? Well, you know, there's an old adage in basketball is you you play like you practice. And um, Andrew's been a terrific player for us uh, in this early season. And he's got a very, very important and prominent role. And with that comes responsibility. And so, um, you know. Coach, uh, there was a two, three minute stretch in the second half where uh, your team turned the ball over three times. It seemed like the game kind of got out of hand starting at that point. What do you think happened with the team's composure or tactics to cause that, and what can be done in the future to prevent that? Um, you know, I think we, we have to make really good decisions, and, um, and we have to listen. You know, those are, those are two things that we, we can do a lot better. And uh, um, so we, we, during that time, we made really poor decisions. And we got to be a better decision-making team, and then we got to listen. Um, you know, when, when coaches and the bench is yelling something out, we got to try to run it. And it seemed like during that stretch in the first half without Marcus, defense or offense, excuse me, just seemed to go to a standstill there. What do you think specifically went wrong? Well, one, they're really long. And two, Marcus is a really good offensive player. So, and that doesn't mean those other guys aren't good players. They're just not at Marcus's level. And so uh, having him in foul trouble really hurt us in a number of ways. You just said it, the two fouls on Marcus uh, in the first possession of the game force you to take him out of the game, and that then impacts your offense. How much do you feel like that threw the team out of rhythm early on in the contest? Um, yeah, I mean, Marcus's foul trouble uh, had, had a huge impact. And I'm not saying they weren't fouls, uh, but they had a huge impact. And we did not respond well when he was out of the game, uh, nor did we respond like we're capable of. Andrew struggled with turnovers in recent games. Um, was that part of the factor that was going into the starting decision? And also, how are you trying to get it under control? Um, you know, I think we watch tape. Uh, we talk about it uh, in practice. Um, we we harp on it a lot, and um, you know, we, we just gotta we gotta keep working with them. You know, Coach, Yante Maiton's one of the best players in the country, and it seems like you guys prepared very well for him in this game. Uh, he's a guy who averages almost 19 and 9 a game, almost a double-double. Tonight he was held off the score sheet for the majority of the game, didn't get into double figures until that second half. Was that a point of emphasis, or is that at least a positive to draw from from this game? Yeah, I mean, I thought the guy, I thought uh, we had some guys who really battled, and uh, Maiton is a guy that if you don't really battle, he could have 30 and 20 and has had that before in college. Uh, Thought, you know, especially in the first half, we really executed a defensive game plan. I thought we gave up some uh, layups in the second half uh, that hurt us. Uh, but, you know, you know, for me, that you know, I thought some of our guys really, really battled, and uh, we got to continue that trend. You mentioned guys who battle. Talk about the freshmen. You've got Kane going three of four from the field, eight points today. And Elliot does get the start and plays that defense that you talked about and playing the way that he practices. You need the young guys right now, and it seems like they're stepping up for you. Agreed? Yeah, man, those guys continue to get better. And, you know, we're putting, we put a lot on their shoulders today uh, with Marcus's foul trouble and, and um, some other guys' struggles. Uh, you know, we're asking a lot of them, but th they continue to get better. They have good attitudes and I think their hearts and their minds are in the right place. One thing on defense, it seemed very effective that you were trapping out in the wings and in the corners. Was that something you saw for Georgia or is that something we should expect to see more often now? Uh, you know, I think you, you, you really have to, it has to depend on the team. I mean, they're a team that, that obviously plays through the paint and we wanted to really try to make it hard for them to score in the paint. And, uh, you know, they still got a bunch, but a lot of that came in the second half. That's it. Thanks. Thank you.